I think doing your research on the breed of dog you want before you get it is one of the most important steps in dog purchasing. There's so many people who just pick breeds on a whim without knowing their specific traits or even if they'll be a good fit for their own families or lifestyles. Today I want to tell you a little bit more about the Bernice Mountain Dog breed. This specific breed is one of four varieties of the Swiss Mountain Dog. They fit into the working group, which means that they're significantly large dogs, so you'll want to uh, make sure that you have room for that. Typically, they weigh anywhere between 75 and 135 pounds, the lighter dogs being the females and the heavier dogs being the males. They do have a silky coat and is tri-colored, which means they have black, white, and brown fur. Because their fur is so long and silky, the Bernese Mountain Dog requires a lot of grooming. The undercoat of the hair that is below the top layer is pretty thick, so it actually is relatively dirt and weather resistant. Other than that, they do require a lot of brushing probably once a week. And if you're looking for a dog that does not shed, then the Bernese Mountain Dog is not right for you. These dogs do shed year round, so be prepared to pick up a lot of hair. Another feature of dogs that you should look into before picking your breed is health concerns and then life expectancy. The Bernese Mountain Dog is generally healthy, but they are prone to different types of cancers. This is the leading cause of death for the Bernese Mountain Dog. Their life expectancy varies anywhere between 8 and 10 years, but if they're in good health, then it can be longer. Not only do you have to care for your new dog, but you have to remember that the dog has to get along with you and the other members of your family. The Bernese Mountain Dog has um, a very mild temperament. Um, they're good-natured animals, so and they're also docile, so they're just not... Um, they are also considered to be good family dogs, but even though they're considered to be good family dogs and are good around children, it is always important to make sure that the dog is familiar with their surroundings and that they've been socialized with the children um, on a one-on-one -on -one basis before leaving them alone with any children. Overall, um, the Bernese Mountain Dog is a great animal. You do need to make sure um, you look into your home environment before bringing the Bernese Mountain Dog home. You need to have plenty of space for this breed um, since they are larger. The Bernese Mountain Dog loves to be outdoors, but you'll want to make sure that it's not too hot outside um, because of their heavier coat. But um, exercise-wise, they do like a lot of exercise, but you don't need to do that in excess. They're not a hyper breed, so you don't have to worry about too much exercise. So overall, this good, well-natured animal, um, I think that they'll melt your heart. I think they're a wonderful breed. Um, I myself will be getting a Bernese Mountain Dog, but that doesn't pressure any of you guys into getting one. It's just letting you know everything that you should do before getting a any animal, but specifically a dog. So now that you know a little bit more about the Bernese Mountain Dog and what's important for dog purchasing and searching, you'll be able to determine if this breed is right for you or if some other breed might be right for you.